Good morning, friends. Rise up in hope today. A brand new day for some of us, a brand new week, new mercies, new strengths, new possibilities, new everything Jesus knew. New, new, new. We are calling today when there is a pause from God. The devotional is called When There Is a Pause from God. Have you ever been on a bus and you're waiting for that one last person to get on the bus? And until that person gets on the bus, you can't go forward. Or have you been on an airplane ride? You've been ready to go and you've been uh, waiting for the time, you've been sitting, you've been suddenly delayed and you don't know why. There's just been a pause and sometimes airplanes make you wait and wait and wait before they bring forth. There's actually a malfunction and we're not going anywhere. Have you ever been there? So there are pauses that happen every day. And if we believe that there are no coincidences with God, then we can take hope in the pause just might be from God. And sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's a little hard, especially when you're waiting for an answer to prayer. We've been studying the book of Joseph and I am sharing with you this morning the pause from God here. We finished on, uh, in chapter 42, we were talking about the sons have met Joseph. He's giving them a mandate. He says, you can't come back unless you have my youngest brother to prove to me that you are not liars. And so they go back, they return. And when they get there, they tell their father the story. And in chapter 42, verse 38, here's Jacob's response. But Jacob said, my son will not go down there with you. His brother is dead and he is the only one left. If harm comes to him on the journey you are taking, you will bring my gray hair down to the grave in sorrow. So clearly here, Jacob is saying no. And I wrote down, Jacob says no. So God says, pause. We've been talking about in Joseph's life how there has to be detail. Details must be worked out. And as is the case with our lives, there are details, there are plans that when we decide we're not going to cooperate or we say no, God may simply say pause until our no's become yes, until our hearts become soft, our hearts become surrendered. And here, Jacob's heart is not quite there yet. So in my study app, I thought it was interesting, beginning in verse ch in chapter 43, several months have passed by. Now remember, in verse 42, Joseph sent them along with food for their households. So they've had food, and again, comfort is being met so there's no desperation. Sometimes desperation causes us to surrender where we normally would not have. And here, in the beginning of verse 43, uh, chapter 43, verse 1, this is where we're going to pick up. Now the famine was still severe in the land. So when they had eaten all the grain they had brought from Egypt, their father said to them, go back and buy us a little more food. Jacob is hungry. It is amazing what hunger in the natural will do in the spiritual. So he is hungry, and so he is saying, go. Verse 3, but Judah, this one of the sons, said to him, the man warned us solemnly, you will not see my face again unless your brother is with you. If you will send our brother along with us, we will go down and buy food for you. But if you will not send him, dad, we will not go down. Because the man has said to us, you will not see my face again unless your brother is with you. Israel, who is also Jacob, asked, why did you bring this trouble on me by telling the man you had another brother? They replied, the man questioned us closely about ourselves and about our family. 
Is your father still living, he asked us. Do you have another brother? We simply answered the questions. How were we to know he would say, bring your brother down here again? These are all details, details that God is working out to reconcile the brothers and the father back to him, the brothers and the father back to Joseph. There is reconciliation, but there are details. And if there's not cooperation, the details cannot come forth. The bus can't move unless the last person gets on the bus. So the pause here is from God. Verse 8, then Judah said to Israel, his father, send the boy along with me and we will go at once so that we and you and our children may live and not die. I myself will guarantee you this safety. You can hold me personally responsible for him. If I do not bring him back to you and set him here before you, I will bear the blame before you all of my life. As it is, verse 10, we, if we had not delayed we could have gone and returned twice. I want to pause for that verse is very important for us. As it is, if we had not delayed, there are those of us that are delaying our destiny and purpose because we have not surrendered to God his way instead of our way. And we have to ask ourselves, God, what is your way in our situation? What is the missing link? Is there a missing link? We have to examine our hearts. I wrote down, what can we do if there seems to be a pause in our situation? Number one, we need to pray. We need to ask God. It says in his word, ask me. I believe that when we ask God and we are ready to listen with surrendered hearts, God will be more than open to give us the missing link. So, Number one, pray, examine our hearts, see if, they're, if we're the reason, if we're the lack of movement, if we're the cause for the pause, then allow God to show us, allow Holy Spirit to empower us to get past that pause. And then I wrote down, then we pray, if we've examined our hearts and we don't think it's coming from us, if we don't think we're the cause for the pause, then we need to start praying for every person involved in our story, in the agenda of God. We need to be praying for them that their hearts would line up, that their surrender would come. And I want to read in Ezekiel, this powerful scripture in Ezekiel 36, 26. It says, I will give you a new heart I will put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will remove your stubbornness and give you surrender. I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. I will move you. I will put my spirit in you and move you. <laughs> Do we have to be moved today? Do I have to be moved? And I got to be honest with you. I'm sitting here checking my heart because I can't give to you what I have to, you know, first eat myself, if you will. And I'm sitting here and there's some things I have to do today that if I'm possibly the cause of the pause of movement in my life, and the Holy Spirit shows me something, you better be sure I'm going to do it today because it's for my good. It's for the movement of my destiny. It's for the movement of my purpose and God's purpose. And I know he has good for me. I know he has good for you. So here Jacob is getting a word from his son. As it is, if we had not delayed, we could have gone and returned twice. Verse 11, then their father Israel said to them, if it must be, then do this. If it must be. So there is a surrender to Jacob right now. And if there is a surrender waiting for God to get from us, I pray with all of my heart that today is your surrendered day. Today is your surrendered day. Even scary, even even afraid, if God is um, 
placing something before you that you need to surrender, do it. Do it because there is good at the other end of this. There is movement towards God's best for you. Many of us are living in God's good. God's good is not God's best. Examine the pause. So now Jacob, he goes on to say what to do. I want you to put some of the best products of the land in your bags. Take them down to the man as a gift. A little balm, a little honey, some spices, myrrh, some pistachio nuts, and almonds. Take double the amount of silver with you, for you must return the silver that was put back in your mouths of your sacks. Perhaps it was a mistake. Take your brother also and go back to the man at once. Full surrender means at once. And may God Almighty grant you mercy before the man so that he will not let your brother, your other brother, so that he will let your other brother and Benjamin come back with you. This is Jacob pleading. May God Almighty have mercy. Some of us just need to say, God Almighty, have mercy. Have mercy on my family. Have mercy on whoever. We need to be in a pleaded position of Jacob. As for me, I am bereaved. I am bereaved. That means I'm grieving. I'm grieving. I'm done. I'm done. I surrender. I surrender. So God puts the pause button back into go motion because he has a surrendered heart. We have to surrender our rights. I am reminded this morning, and I will close with this reminder. 103 days ago, when God said, Tracy, I want you to I want you to let me use you in this way. I want you to get up every morning. And honestly, I thought it was seven days. I thought, sure, I can do this for seven days. And in those days unfolding, God said, no, this is going to be a little bit longer than that. I just need you to stay the course with me. But I will tell you that the, that particular weekend, I was God had made available to me a writer's conference. And it was a writer's conference online, and I had no idea he was going to speak to me in such a personal way. I have been opposed. I had been opposed to doing any kind of social media uh, live. I didn't like the sound of it. I didn't like for many reasons, and I'm not going to go into those reasons. But it was God's agenda for me to see something. And the question to me that pre presented to me was, did you not say I could use you? whenever, wherever, and however for my glory. That question changed many things in my spirit, in my heart, because I did say that to God. I've been saying that to God my whole life following him. For 30 years, I've said, God, you can use me however, wherever, and in whatever way you choose and yet I was holding back. I was the block. God had to pause things. And I hope that helps somebody because I know God is speaking to his children that have made the hand of God be in pause. God doesn't want to be in pause, but he has to be in pause because there is a surrender still left inside of you that you have to give to him. So God, I thank you for this message. I thank you for when there is a pause from you, we need to look at it. And I thank you that today is the day of breakthrough. Today is the day of surrender. Today is the day of whatever you want God, wherever you want God, however you want it, for your glory and for our very best. I pray for this. I seal this with the blood of Jesus, and I thank you for it, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow.